Number six, which of the following slightly soluble compounds has a solubility greater than that calculated from its solubility project because of the hydrolysis of the anion is present? Okie dokie. And then they give us six different slightly soluble compounds. If a compound is classified as slightly soluble, that just means that in solution, these are not going to break down a lot into their ions. The compound is generally going to stay as a solid. More reasoning behind this is that they're talking about solubility product. When they're talking about the solubility product, they're talking about KSP. The SP in solubility, or the KSP, the SP in KSP is solubility product, SP. So now all we have to figure out is which one of these has a solubility greater than the actual calculated SKSP, right? Now, this is basically like a hidden question. They're secretly looking for your knowledge of something that we learned about in previous chapters, and that has everything to do with strong acids and strong bases. Now, specifically since they're talking about hydrolysis of the anion, all we're looking for is the negative charge in all of these six compounds. So, for example, when we look at CO, SO3, we have to know which one is the negative charge. So this goes back from, you know, the first gen chem where we learned how to, you know, know what these uh, ions came from, right? So just know that the, the cobalt, the CO is the positive charge and the SO3, that's sulfite, that's the negative charge. So in this case, or all of these, we only care about the SO3 and that would be a two minus charge. I wouldn't really care about, you know, if you can guess the right charge, that's not important. The, the main importance here is that you know what the anion is and the anion is always the negative one, the one at the back. So let's just write these out. So for CUI, which one is the negative charge? It's the I, right? And if we look on the periodic table, that's I minus. Let's do it for the next one. We have PB, uh, PBCO3. What is the anion here? The negative charge is the carbonate, the CO3. So CO3, two minus. Let's do it for the other three. We have PB, Cl2, and the anion, the negative charge for PBCl2 is the Cl, right? There's two of them. I don't care about that. I'm just going to say that this is a Cl with the negative one charge. Let's keep going. Tl2s. What is the anion for this one? Yep, it's just the S at the end, and that's a two minus charge. Remember, that's not the real importance, just getting the uh, anion correct. The anion for KClO4 would be the ClO4, the per uh, chlorate. So ClO4 minus. Okay, so now from here, we want to figure out which one has a solubility greater. Well, what's going to happen is basically we have anions of strong acids and anions of weak acids, right? We have a mixture of both out of all these six. If we're looking for a solubility greater, we are looking for a basically we'll say an anion from a weak acid. Because what's gonna happen is all the anions that form a weak acid, they're going to react with water. That's what hydrolysis is, reacting with water. And what's gonna happen is the anions of the weak acids are going to pull from the solid. So you would have to produce more, or you'd have to break down more solid, making that solubility greater. Now, that's why we just have to memorize our six strong acids, right? And here are the anions for your six strong acids, like an HCl, Cl minus is an anion, Br, I, NO3, ClO4, 
and SO4. Those are all your anions. So you just have to match them up. Is SO3 2 minus, or SO3 in general, part of your strong acid category? Mm -mm. There's an SO4, but not an SO3. So this one is one of the answers. So maybe I'll just maybe highlight this like this. Is I minus one of them? Yes, it is. Here it is right here. Here's the I. And remember, we don't want strong acids. We want weak acids. So this one, mm-mm. Maybe I'll put like an X here, or maybe I just won't. That's good enough. CO3. Is CO3 one of our anions for our strong acids? I don't see it here. So that means that this has to be a weak acid anion. And that would make the solubility greater. Let's do this side now. CL. Do I see a CL here? Yes, I do. And remember, strong acids will not make that solubility greater. TL2S. S2 minus. Is that part of our strong acids? I don't see that. So this would be another one. And then finally, for KClO4, we have the ClO4 minus. Does that match anywhere here? And yes, it does. Here it is. Here's the ClO4. Since that's part of a strong acid, this would not cause the solubility to increase. We're only looking for weak um, acid anions. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much uh, for checking out this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's keep studying hard, and I'll see you all later. Okay, bye-bye.